This is your Peace News for Thursday, May 16th, 2013. Silver is trading at $23 per ounce. Bitcoin is trading at $114 per Bitcoin. The Department of Homeland Security seized a payment processing account Tuesday belonging to Mt. Gox, the largest international Bitcoin trader. Many of those who favor Bitcoin use Dwala, an Iowa-based startup that allows customers to transfer their dollars into Bitcoins. Unfortunately for those customers, the Department of Homeland Security issued a warrant Tuesday shutting down Dwala's ability to process Bitcoin payments. This news caused a small dip in the price of Bitcoin, but the price bounced back to its current market price of about $115, where it now finds stability. Because the currency is decentralized, buyers and sellers continue to innovate and find new ways around restrictive laws at a much faster rate than lawmakers can write and pass them. Government bureaucrats can no longer control people's financial transactions, and that makes them angry and scared. Right now, they're fighting to maintain control, but they don't realize that the battle is over, and they've already lost. Speaking of controlling financial transactions, an unnamed healthcare provider in California is suing the IRS and 15 unnamed agents, alleging that they improperly seized some 60 million medical records of 10 million Americans, including medical records of all California. California state judges. The medical records included information on psychological counseling, gynecological counseling, sexual and drug treatment, and other sensitive medical treatment data. No search warrant authorized the seizure of these records. No subpoena authorized the seizure of these records. None of the 10 million Americans were under any kind of known criminal or civil investigation, and their medical records had no relevance whatsoever to the IRS search. Despite this, and a flurry of scandals facing the IRS, the woman in charge of targeting targeting more than 500 conservative political groups for tax audits is being honored with a medal from a Massachusetts law school. However, not everyone agrees with the behavior of the IRS. Yesterday, Philadelphia Eagles offensive lineman Evan Mathis posted a photo to his Instagram in which he appears to be urinating on the front of an IRS building. The caption read, Audit this. Are you tired of the U.S. government killing people around the world? Are you tired of having to pay for their murderous rampage? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin is money. They cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. Bitcoin takes the power of money from government and returns it properly to the people. By continuing to use the dollar, you are helping the government stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. No matter where you you look, government overreach is rampant. The loss of liberty is so pervasive now that it's palpable, and those who value their freedom are looking for answers. Enter the Free State Project, a movement of 20,000 liberty-minded activists who vote with their feet by moving to New Hampshire to get active for the cause of liberty. Recently, the Free State Project was the subject of a short documentary which highlights some of the group's achievements in its first 10 years of life. The video distinguishes between the two major camps inside the FSP, those who work inside the system for change by getting elected and working with laws, and those who work from outside the system to oppose immoral legislation with acts of civil disobedience. A Free State Project photo was recently featured in Forbes for the plastic liberator gun which participants 3D printed. Members of the group were among some of the first to reprint the world's first 3D printed gun, designed by DEFCAD. And if that weren't enough, another project by the FSP participants has made world news this week. Everyone is talking about Robin Hood. MSN, Fox, CBS, NBC, The Associated Press, Reuters, The Daily Mail UK, the BBC, and dozens of other international household names have covered the story of six merry men who feed the expired parking meters in downtown Keene to save people from getting tickets. Now, the city of Keene is suing Robin Hood and his merry men. The story has been translated into Spanish, German, and who knows what other languages, and is making headlines across the globe. This has provided an awesome opportunity opportunity for the Robin Hooders to spread the message of peace and personal freedom, not to mention to introduce people to the idea of the Free State Project. Governments around the world are failing. Move to New Hampshire and connect with others who are working to build the free future today. Links are in the show notes. This has been Peace News, your daily update on the peaceful evolution. Get more Peace News on the next news network. And for daily videos, subscribe at youtube.com slash peacenewsnow. For peacenewsnow.com, I'm Derek J. reminding you that peace is the way.